Hi everyone, this is Damien from your spreadsheets. Today we're going to look at the Employee Attendance Tracker. This is a powerful, highly customizable tool for tracking leave of your employees. At the same time, it is very easy to use. Let's start with Employees View. If you make this spreadsheet available to your employees and not only to your admin, then they will have access to Overview and Detailed View. The Overview shows leave of every person in the company in one clear table. You can change how many months are displayed on the screen. Let's change to three months. Let's wait until the table updates. And now let's change to one month. One month and three months views will show how many people are off on a particular day. This will help you understand available resources at a glance. Let's change back to full year view. To change year, click the arrows and the table will update automatically. And let's go back. To highlight an employee, click his name. To deselect it, click the name again. Now let's look at the detailed view. This allows your employees to see their leave record for a whole year. An employee is not allowed to add or remove leave from the database. If they try, they will see this message. As an admin, you have access to the two remaining views, database and settings. First, you have to enter admin password. In this case, it is admin, but by default, it is left blank. You should set it up the first time you open the spreadsheet. In the database view, you can add new employees or edit details of existing ones. Let's try it now. A new employee has been added. To remove an employee from the database, click the cross next to it and confirm. This will also delete the whole leave history of that person. This cannot be reversed. You add office holidays in the same way. Add description for easy reference. In the settings view, you can customize leave details like name, category, color, and whitening. Also in this view, you can edit basic settings and control how the spreadsheet looks and works. For example, select which month the financial year should start on. Or what is the first day of the week. How you refer to leave. How you refer to your employees. How you want to sort the lists. And how you want to display them. The two most important fields are employee statistics, where you control what statistics, if any, your employees will see. The second field is the admin. If you forget what each field does, there are some question marks you can click and these will bring up additional information. Now the most important functionality of this spreadsheet. Let's add leave dates to the database. This is done very easily. Go to the detailed view and select an employee you want to add leave for. There is a short note to remind you how to do it. You can click it to delete it once you get used to the process. Let's do it now. Now, select leave type, click on the name. And click a date you want to add the leave for. And that's it. The leaf has been added to the database. No need to fill in long tables with leaf records. To change it, 
click different leaf type and click the date. To remove it, click the date again. I hope you will find this spreadsheet useful. To see more interesting spreadsheets, go to yourspreadsheets.co.uk. Thanks for watching.